with a, ride, with a wide right hook, and you cannot let Lucas Martin Matisse hit you with no open shots. Uh, Jose moving ahead now. Jose has very good hand speed, and he will throw lots of combinations. And there's an example. Though those punches, some of them are wide. Nice exchange, and a Jose backed up Matisse with the left. Slow down, and that's what he's doing early on in the fight. He's touching a Jose. A Jose puts himself in the corner. Matisse welcoming that, working him, rocking him now with the right hand to the head, and Matisse beginning to pick apart a Jose in the corner. Mora stepping in, a Jose now wanting, now beginning to use his footwork. But it's Matisse working away on the body. Now a Jose comes back. Another left hand of the body. A right hand upstairs by Matisse. He is firing on all cylinders here with five seconds left. Very effectively, and there it is with a Jose on the ropes. The rope, but that right hand is powerful, and there it is doing serious damage. And he almost had a Jose. He can go down to that body. And there was a Jose going to the body, then rips the Good right work. hand of the body. Nice combination put together by a Jose, responded by Matisse, but a Jose staying in the pocket, staying busy, firing. Jose credit for pulling himself together in this round. Gets backed up with that oh, right hand. 50 seconds left in another entertaining third round, and Matisse unloading the right hand, and a Jose in trouble. And the left uppercut. A Jose, though, fighting back. He's a warrior, and we see why he has never gone down. Things to beat Matisse, a master boxer, or someone oh, that can hurt him. There he goes. And a Jose stumbled but did not go down. A Jose is one tough fighter from Nigeria as he. Oh, another left hook to the body, and that has. Jose staying busy, but again gets backed up on the ropes, and it's great mover in the ring who can avoid those traps. Oh, the left hook, uh -oh. and a Jose again in trouble, but hanging on as Matisse. Left hook from Matisse. Oh. And a Jose comes back. Sixth round scheduled for 12 for the WBC interim super lightweight championship. And again, a Jose with two punches, but one punch by Matisse backs him up. A Jose goes with the right. And a Jose is still here. Now a Jose has Matisse in the corner. Matisse able to bob and weave, and Matisse says, is that all you got? Come on, lead left hook by Matisse. Right hand by Matisse. Get him up, get him up, get him up. A Jose coming forward now and firing off a three punch combination, oh. the majority of which was blocked. Lucas is a bad man and Matisse stalking a Jose on the ropes again, the left hook upstairs into the body, trying to cover up and now firing off some rapid fire shots of his own. And while Matisse doubling the number of punches landed, what's significant is you see how many of Jose's throwing. He's been active as those numbers update live, and it's not as if a Jose's been not active. Look wow. at him throw a triple right hook. A good round for a Jose coming yeah. forward and landing some punches, but just as I say that, Matisse's able to land a combination, but again, a Jose. You know, it, brushing Matisse's it's face. criminal, a Jose. Less than a minute remaining in round eight, an uppercut from a Jose. And uh, but one again, of the, Matisse walks through. One of the questions as we look at this, could a Jose, by hanging around in this fight, might he hurt Matisse at some point in it? Right hook. And it's the right way to go, and lands them. He landed every one of those. See Matisse come back with that uppercut and then the right hand. That's been a combination that's worked. I don't know if he gave that one to him or you did, Mark, but I thought it was a good round for Jose. And a Jose, great job working the body, going upstairs, and then Matisse against. Uh, and he is tonight. It's just that Matisse is stronger, and he throws those powerful combinations. Matisse fires off the straight left. A Jose comes back with his own combination. But again, not... But a Jose definitely seems to be finding the second win, but again against the ropes, and then gets backed up with the right hand. And Matisse. The right hand and the left hand, their feet are constantly tangling. But there it is seconds. again. Matisse with the right hand, and Jose ducks underneath that one, back to the center of the ring. Gets caught with the left hook. 10 seconds remaining in this WBC Interim Super Lightweight Championship bouts ninth round. Left hook upstairs, working the bodies, Matisse along the ropes. And ends the round with a left hand. At the end of the round, a monstrous left hook would be landed by Matisse.
as he was against the rope. There's that triple right hook again by Josie. He's landing that punch so effectively. To showcase his skills on Showtime, and while it's just for an interim title, oh, and he gets popped with the right hand. Has one on the left hand on the break. To play this for some kind of foul against Matisse. It was a marginal thing. Wow, big left hook by Matisse. Instead of Josie, came back fighting. Good for him. And Matisse unloading on a Jose to the body, but a Jose keeps coming back. In the 10th round, left hand upstairs, a left hook to the body by Matisse. A Jose trying to keep him at bay with the jab again gets popped. But again, finds himself along the ropes. Now coming forward, Matisse gets tagged with a right hand, but cuts together a four-punch combination of his own. And now a Jose opening up a misses. Ten seconds left in the tenth round. Matisse, oh, and fires off the right hand. A Jose's in the corner. A Jose goes down for the first time in his career. And Mora has stopped the fight. Lucas Matisse has won. There's the lead right hand that landed. That one was started the the onslaught. Russell Moore was jumping in to call a clinch and a left hook. Now I'm going to tell you something. Give a Josie credit for coming back but then he would get nailed with these shots and again a right hand. That one. Wow. Lucas Mar